Hello, my name is Nicholas Haynes from the Five Institute, and this is the first in a three-part video series about how to handle the year of the water tiger, which is an absolutely magnificent year. There's just certain things you need to do to make the most of it. Now, if you're not familiar with my work around the energies of the year, then I'll put up here or down below a webinar around which explains all about the water tiger year. If you also want more of these videos within this series, then above and below, you'll find links uh, to that. Now, this content within this three-part video series comes from a, a masterclass looking at the, the Water Tiger, how to handle this whole year. So I hope you find it really helpful. I'll put a link down below for the masterclass. This is getting a bit crazy, but you know, I'm here to try and help. Now, let's look at this particular year and start talking generally about years. Now, there is no year that is unlucky or lucky from a, an astrological point of view, but there are certain years that are actually more important. And the Water Tiger year is actually a, a really important year and that's because it, what it is is it's a foundation year and a transition year and a significant year so foundation years are basically when things happen that will actually influence the, the, the future certain things go on so if you look about it we've just come out of two foundation years a kind of metal rat year and a metal ox year and what those foundation years were designed to do was to to make sure that we clear things out we release things we also work out what matters to us and, and what's valuable to us so they if we do that clearing out it's imagine like you were clearing out a, a field in order for new things to grow. So you had to clear the ground for new things to grow in the here and the now. Now, the issue is, though, that uh, when we have these foundation years, when things go on to sort of clear the ground, as in this case, or to work out what we value or, and so about loss and letting go, the problem is that some of those foundation years can create trauma within us, and that then influences our ability to be OK in the here and the now. So we have a, a magnificent year coming up. But one of the things we need to be able to do is we need to be kind of confident to take action. We need to be OK in ourselves. I and mean, in a way, we need to kind of let go of some of the things in the past that would interfere with our ability to move forward in the here and the now. So in this video, we're going to look at the past and how that can influence our ability to, to, to be OK in the present. Now, it's important to say at this particular stage, the ability to be courageous and brave in a water tiger year is kind of one of the easiest years to be courageous and brave to step forward because we have the energy of the tiger which is a very kind of courageous royal regal sovereign creature and we've also got the kind of water energy which is about allowing us on some level to be fearless in order to create something um, uh, in the future but one of the things i want to talk about in this particular video and this is to do with our, our confidence our ability to be confident now one of the things that you can look at is that we have us in the present, but we also have a past and we also have a future. And this is about what I call the curse of new knowledge. Let me explain what I mean by that. So if in the here and the now, you learn something new, that means that what you did in the past was wrong or incorrect. One of the things that we can do is we can kind of go back and, and beat up an earlier version of ourselves based on what we know now. And the problem with that is, well, first of all, it's a really unkind thing to do because that earlier version of you doesn't know what you knew now. So they made the decision based on what they knew. So first of all, it's an unkind thing to do. But more importantly, what happens with that is that you go back in the past, criticize an earlier version of yourselves, you beat them up. Oh God, why did I do that? Why was I so stupid? Why, why did I do that? The problem is that earlier version of you is the foundation of your confidence in the here and the now. So as each time you undermine a previous version of yourself, then you actually undermine the confidence that you have in the here and the now. And in a water tiger year, when we need to make decisions about our future, and you need to kind of open up this kind of this possibility to fulfill the promise that you've made, the one thing that we need to do is to be courageous and confident. Now, it doesn't matter how courageous and confident the tiger makes us feel if we are constantly undermining earlier versions of ourselves by criticizing them based on what we now know then it's very hard to have a, a a kind of good core confidence so i've got one really important way to to handle that and that is to stop it just stop beating up the earlier earlier versions of yourself it, it's not kind it's not helpful and it really doesn't help you in the here and now and also if you do that then something really difficult happens and that is a future version of you has the right to beat up you in the here and the now. So depending upon what your beliefs are, or your understanding of quantum physics, we all are existing within the same, same time frame. So the moment 
that you do something instantly a future version of you will come and start beating us up so we suddenly start to say oh i don't feel confident i don't know i think we might be making a mistake because we create this kind of worry about future versions of us and we have no core confidence from the past because we've undermined that so it gets us to get be in this really uh, inactive place around our confidence so the simple thing is to just don't do it and what i suggest that you do is to not just don't do it it's actually to make a contract with yourself to say that actually and get a piece of paper write it down and say that you promise not to beat up earlier versions of yourself now are you going to be able to do that all the time well no you're going to occasionally catch yourself doing it and all that happens is apologize and and stop it now it doesn't mean that you can't go back in the past and look and think okay now what can i learn from that experience what what went on how would i do things differently and that is a very different experience than going back and and and, and beating them up and the thing is so you write this contract and you promise not to do that and then within and i actually promise you this within a, a few weeks or even a few days what will happen is you will have changed the whole of your future because from that moment if you're not beating up a previous version of yourself then a future version of you will not be beating you up either so you can then become more confident to uh, move forward. So that's one really important thing to start to do here in the now, because we do need uh, that that confidence to kind of move forward to kind of step into this year. The other important thing when we look at our, our, our past and what's happened within this previous two years, these kind of metal energy years where we've been working out what we value, what matters to us, we've been about letting go and releasing stuff. Now, what happens if you haven't let go of all the things that are kind of you're holding on to perhaps too many unfinished projects or too many things in your house or things that just no longer are relevant to you but you just really can't let them go it will if you don't do that then like i say you really can't have this future in the in, in the here and the now so the important thing is to recognize that just because it was kind of two years in which to do that doesn't mean you can't do it now so just have a, a kind of a, a kind of final kind of tidy up and trying to sort things out to let go of things and to let go perhaps of belief systems that, that that kind of no longer serve you and then one final thing that i think we need to do within this video that looks at how we can address our past is to recognize something really important and that is that in the last two years i kind of felt that i was being broken i had experiences i had things that happened that yeah i kind of felt deeply broken by the loss but the experiences i felt like it was breaking me but what was actually happening within that i was being rearranged enough to be a new version of me to step into uh, to step into my future so if you feel like you have been uh, broken by some of those experiences first thing to recognize that you were in fact being uh, rearranged and that um, help is here for you. We have within the Five Institute, we have lots of community that kind of goes on. So to dig into the Five Institute, uh, connect with us, we've got five day mindset makeover, we've got all this content to, to help you if you feel that you have been broken by some of those experiences because being broken is in fact being rearranged, but it can still feel like it was uh, an experience. So, um, so we've got content here for you to help you uh, with that because we do need you in a, a good place to be courageous to move forward to because in this moment in time what we're going to be doing is deciding both our future and also the, the future of the world these water tiger years only happen once every 60 years so this is our, our big opportunity to step into that place so that was just looking at how we can help build our kind of core confidence to be able to step fully into this year to and also to heal and to and to to move forward now in the next video what i'm going to be looking at is the difference between core confidence and situational confidence so you can have a situation place where your core confidence is fine but we put you into a certain situation and your confidence disappears so in that video we're going to be exploring that because that's really important in the present which this video is going to be about in the present how you can be confident and not have this situational confidence issue triggering you. And we're also going to talk about some other things. So that's a little bit of some content to, in this first video. So the important thing is, this is a really, really important year for you and society. It's a magnificent year. You've just got to heal a bit within a bit within your, your past. And like I said, don't beat up earlier versions of yourself. It's not kind. And they didn't know what you know now. And if you, as soon as you do that, the future versions will not beat you up and your confidence will start to grow and you'll be able to step into this magnificent year. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, 
like it, share, comment below, perhaps put in the comments below whether you managed to throw things out, whether you had a period of two years of, of tidying. And if you have had like me situations where you felt broken to a certain extent, remember you were being rearranged, but you know, share what went on for you. We are in this together. Okay, I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now, much love.